Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Banner Soccer. My name is Josh Girls. I'm a gamer who plays video games while wearing goggles. You know, these things that are on my face. Wow, you can see a reflection of like everything I'm doing. <coughs> but anyways, uh, welcome back to Banner Saga. Where was I? I don't know. Where am I? What is this place? <laughs> Where am I? I don't know. With some help, uh, oh yeah. Tried that last time. I got an itch on my nose. <sighs> Morale is weak. We be trucking. Oh, what did I do? Is it wakes in a pool of his own sick. Why am I surrounded by small people? <laughs> the other clansmen let him sleep off his drunken stupor on the ground, and this morning he's paying the price. Post some guards nearby just in case. Our men turn out to be completely unnecessary. The feral is so deep in sickness that he doesn't even try to move for several hours. Just coughing up his stomach contents. Still, you still eat long enough. Sigborn comes to you. I won't get into details. I was supposed to bring those casts from Reynovic back to Bozgard. I drank maybe half by accident. Point is, you don't tell anybody what happened. And I won't tell anybody about the meat you got, okay? Trust me on this one. You agree and get back to trap. Camp. I want to camp. I want to camp. Rest. Two days. Three. And get back on the road. music though Cameron consists of more clansmen than you ever expected accusations of stolen chicken missing heirlooms and concerns over daughters virtues are the sorts of things you hear relentlessly even fighters complain of spreading too thin to protect everyone uh Form a council to handle these problems. Select a few older men, that are but infighting neuters their progress. Other members feel they could do a better job. Ultimately, while well, by some time the council dissolves, tired of it. Ah, uh, I, I did absolutely nothing. Four days of supplies left. Hey, what's up there? Unar, the quirky old man with the leather headband, says, If there's one thing I know better than women and me, it's, well, well, nothing. But I know when a group could use some help. Just a non let old Unar make everything. Uh, what? No, nope. and what's the first thing out of your mouth? Forget the lie. Oh. Oh. Didn't want that guy anyways, he's crazy. As we pass steep cliffs, the sprawl of Boersgard comes into view. A city of contrasting rich and poor, opportunity and gamble. Our best hope for salvation, or our graves. The Slayer and the Slain. Oh, I thought we were a lot longer in this episode. Jeez. Whoa! Finally, you arrive at Boersgard with a wall stretched for miles in both directions and are littered with the bodies of dread, varl, and men. Excuse the mess. Excuse the mess! She has a voice from above the gates. It's looking up, you spy a striking varl, his face wreathed with matted black hair. Movement at the gate catches your eye. Dredger still banging on the gate doors without luck. Let us in! Push past. I won't be hearing the end of this for a while. Open up, Bulwark! They dug me out of Ryan the Vic! Hear a laugh echoing on the wind as the doors creak. A dozen armed men led by the massive varl make quick work of the dredge and ushed you into the city. You may be interested to know they brought a mender. You didn't go to get a mender. Where's the maid? Sure. <laughs> Guess the mender will do. Either we, you've got the chance now or we're completely screwed. I'm Rook, we've come a long way, some as far as Skogar, are you in charge here? In charge of the governor, I suppose. Listen, if you have something to tell him, say it now, otherwise you're on your own. I don't care where you go, but stirring up trouble is probably the only reason you'll see me again. It won't be to talk. Mender, come along, we're going to see the governor. 
Both of them can sick board and leave with Ivan, who's going, who goes willingly, signaling that he's fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'll be okay, guy. All right, I'll be perfectly fine. Fan, this is just like Frostfeller all over again. This is nothing like Frostfeller. The one in Bearskin is probably leading the Ravens. Ravens? Is that good or bad? Depends on who they're working for. Hopefully it really is the governor and not someone trying to strong arm their way into a seat. I guess we wait for Ivan to tell us if he comes back. Not worried about Ivan. I'm worried about the army of refugees we brought, who don't belong here. You're probably right. Nobody ever uttered a nice thing about Borisgard. So what now? We'll have to go to the docks and see what our options are, in case we need to leave quickly. Did you notice the city guards when we came in? What guards? I have a feeling the ravens are all they've got left. Something serious went down. And when Bellower gets here, he's going to right, walk right through this place without even breaking a stride. Let's keep that to ourselves for now. So, the docks. <coughs> <coughs> Ivor's voice may be giving me a sore throat. Docks. Map. Market. It's a big market. Give me a supplies. Oh, these are very expensive supplies. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Give me. F oh my goodness, those are expensive. When you get to the docks, your heart sinks. Not a long ship to be seen. Aside from wrecks, bodies float in the water. Buildings are trashed and boarded up. What? What happened here? They're all gone. I see you had the same thought as me. Oh, Ivan came. Ivan, you're okay. I'm fine, it wasn't a lie. The governor is here. He's in hiding. Why? Since the dread started appearing, everyone was a ship and a half. F a wit left long ago. People can't leave by foot. foot food is scarce, the markets are bare. Boatsguard is a fire cave waiting for someone to tip it over. So the governor is paying the ravens to protect them against his own people. And keep the peace, so to speak. It's more, more like a massacre any time there's a hint of an uprising. Where does that leave us? I promised him the Mendra's protection in Aberang. I don't think he's very popular there. They're going to start tearing this place down to build new ships. We can ride at the Ormsa River all the way to the capital. Leaving another perfectly good city behind. Well, how long will it take to build new ships? Hold on, what happens to people living in Borisgard? It's the best I could do, Alain. He thought it could take as long as a month. You don't usually make ships out of scrap lumber. As soon as people figure out what's going on, there's going to be riots in the streets. A month? Why bother? Bellow will be here within a week, if not sooner. I'm open to suggestions. Gods be damned, is there no end to this? Ivor roars in frustration, leaving you standing by the docks. So that gives you a worried look before chasing after him. Ivan, what do we do about Bellower? Ivan says nothing for a moment. I don't know. <sighs> I really don't know. Alright. Ugh, so expensive. Ivor. You find Ivor standing on the city walls overlooking the fields outside. Dredger keeping their distance, but continue to gather. I'm okay, Rook. Ivor cuts you off before you can say anything. You know he's been through worse. It just feels like someone should cut us a break every now and then. If we want to be standing a month from now, we're gonna have to be prepared. What did you have in mind? First off, our clansmen need a place to stay. They could torn it apart. They'll cook torn to pieces in the streets. I'll keep an eye on the dredge up here. If they break through the walls, we're done for, so we'll have to keep them back. Could always use a hand with that. We need to know who's controlling what and make sure we get our cut. Food's going to become scarce. And when they start building those ships, we're going to have to keep people away. What a damn mess. I'll do what I can. Ivor explains, I'm leading a class. I'm leading attacks with Ivan every time the dredge get close to the gates. Listen, we're gonna lose fighters and Lavaro every and Varro every day like this. I don't need to tell you what happens if any but if nobody is manning this wall, we could always use help. Um consider what you want to do, knowing that any of these tasks would likely take a full day. Uh we need to find support for supplies first. Always get your logistics down first. Whenever in wartime, logistics come first, and then what? And then weapons, and then troops. I think that's out of order of war. Maybe I don't know. I doubt it. It's just my it's just my logic. I've checked around, and nobody has food, or they won't part with it for a fair price. And our medicine has been gone for days. Just either gouging the prices, or it's just plain gone. She doesn't say hey, it, but you can't tell this. But you can tell this is going to be a serious problem.
places that seem to be holding out. Join our life to the biggest meat hall is determined to make some sort of deal. You can tell a few of them have food to spare, but the ample number of bodyguards hanging around to make it clear they don't want to share. You can tell Odd Life is about to snap. Uh, sense of decency. Let's do that. Cajolian will change your mind and you're becoming more and more frustrated. Before he does anything rash, you decide to leave empty hand. Arr! 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 A lot more of them, and the other thing, braver. We lost a fair number of fighters since yesterday. We could use your help if there's anybody left to defend. Nobody left to defend these walls. Rook, someone handed me a note this morning. Probably one of those places we visited yesterday. Maybe some misplaced ambush too, though I can't imagine in what they think we have. If you want to check it out, let me know. Um. All right, we can go one more day without helping Ivor. So uh, we need a safe place for the caravan to stay. Uh, we could look for a public house, like Frostfeller. You figure that if you make camp in the open, you could at least keep everyone together with people leaving the city. There, there might be... Let's find abandoned houses. Let's take what other people... With all the people that fled from when the dredge arrived, you figure there must be a few... I mean, sure enough, a few turn up which will keep people out of the weather. They express concerns over safety. A house full of women and children is sure to draw some attention. Arr! Help make the houses more defensible. Alongside the other clansmen, right over the with both the city locals and Dredge in mind, after the long day, you've done as much as you can. <laughs> Alright, how many fighters in Varl did we lose this day? Oh god, we lost everyone! This is bad. Aside from the fact that we're or up to our necks in Dredge, a stone singer, singer showed up. We've been losing warriors left and right. If we don't deal with it, this war oh, will come down by the end of the day. What are your clans in from the camera? Just wanted to tell you that we're doing well enough. Had a couple of loose snooping around, stole some supplies before we could stop them, but nobody got hurt. We'll be ready for them next time. Ah. We're trying to smash up the boats. When you call um, her down, she says the ravens are there, but she's worried that things could get out of hand. We've got to join Ivor in defending the walls. We have no choice. We're going to lose everything if we don't win wait Ivan oh who are we missing oh that's right I remember it was Sigborn the guy we picked up at the farms we are in a real pickle here a real big pickle Stone singer, of course. All right, we need to withdraw further. This is going to be tough. I love that. I am glad I gave you triple exertion. Nice. I like it. That's right, run away. Run away like a coward. Zap! Oh boy. Oh, it's just... Just a heavily armored dude. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Probably should have had you move up closer, but that's alright. All right, just go there. Oh wait, oh wait, this isn't gonna. Oh, wait. hey, it's not nice. We 
Wait. I can't do that threat to kneel though. Not enough baddies for the threat to kneel to be effective. Alright, let's deal all this damage. At least none of these uh, stone guards are strength. Big strength, have big on strength. They're all armor. And I, I did a lot of armor breaking on my dude, so... It's good. Good, good thinking, Josh. Good thinking. It was excellent thinking, Josh. Oh wait, I'm out of willpower. Okay, okay, okay. That, that's kind of what I wanted. Oh god, this is gonna be a really long episode. Oh no. No! Dang it, can't stop. You know how I could really use that warden? That warden from the very beginning. I could really use that guy. So that I could uh, get this guy's willpower up. It's not nice. God. Grenades! Where'd the grenades go? I want to know where the grenades went. One there. Did they both go there? Maybe. I'm out of willpower. Resist. Resistance is futile. Wait. Er. Ah, fine. Hurt this guy. Oh, shit. What just happened? Oh, shit. Strength buff. Oh. Oh. Last arc lightning. I can only hit one dude, unfortunately. Uh, we'll hit you. Jeez, dude, you're not dead yet. Oh god, the grenades. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This isn't gonna end well for a lot. Oh, went after I ha 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 You you idiot. You fool! You hurt your own friends. This is going way longer than I had hoped. I'd wanted to, than I wanted to. Tony one. Wait, how did he plant that in the ground? It's all rock out here. Oh goodness gracious, Greta! Arc like that guy. Zippity zap zap. 
I don't understand what he's done. He's, it's like a poison. Ah! Game, quiet down! Ah! Shh, quiet game! Sleep game, quiet. Oh boy. Well, I effed up this turn. And well, that's probably gonna hit the dirt ground. Oh no. She ain't dead yet! Stone Singer or this guy? Stone Singer. Oh, triple kill! Oh no. Arc lightning. Eat it and weep. Get back here. You're not done with you yet. Yay! We did it! High five! Come on, don't leave me hanging. Fine, I'll high five myself. Well, thank you everyone so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe for more. And... Bellowers arrived. See you guys in the next episode. Stay frosty.